The title of our next presentation is Can Just One Week of Exercise Improve Thinking in Multiple Sclerosis? Please welcome Diana. Thank you. So by show of hands, how many people in here know of somebody who has been diagnosed with multiple sclerosis or MS? Well, it's actually a good amount of you. For those of you who do not know, MS is a neurological disease of the central nervous system. So it involves formation of plaques on the brain and spinal cord. And these plaques result in a wide variety of symptoms. A major symptom that occurs in MS is what we call in the world of psychology cognitive impairment, which is just a fancy word for impaired thinking ability. So as you can imagine, somebody with impaired thinking ability is going to affect your life in a pretty big way, right? MS is not curable, but there are treatments for other symptoms. There aren't any treatments for those cognitive symptoms, those thinking symptoms. Okay, by another show of hands, how many people in here have heard that exercise can essentially fix just about any problem that you've ever had? Yeah. So guys, I have to tell you, it's kind of true. Exercise has been shown to help symptoms in just about any disorder that you can think of, and MS is no exception. There's even a small amount of studies that suggest that exercise can help those thinking symptoms in MS too. Pretty cool stuff, right? Unfortunately, most individuals who have MS don't have very high levels of physical activity. And this is due to the symptoms that come along with the disease. Things like depression, pain, fatigue, motor symptoms, difficulty controlling body temperature. These symptoms keep individuals from working out. So here's the tricky part. These same symptoms that keep individuals from working out who have MS can be helped with exercise. So how do we get around that? So for my dissertation, I designed a week-long aquatic exercise program for individuals who have MS. Now, I specifically chose aquatic exercise, or water aerobics, because of its feasibility. Water exercise has many of the same benefits as land-based exercise, but it doesn't exacerbate those same symptoms that keep individuals with MS from working out. So I predict that just one week of aquatic exercise will improve many symptoms in MS, including those cognitive symptoms. And you're not going crazy, you did hear me right, I did say just one week. So we're still in the process of collecting data, but so far we've analyzed information in a small group of individuals who underwent the intervention and compared them to a control group, and we found that actually, yes, their thinking has improved. So it's my hope that with the results from my dissertation, we can start emphasizing these programs that are not only well tolerated by individuals who have this disease, but can also help these symptoms and can also help cognitive impairment. Thank you.